Jason Holder was 23 years and 72 days old when the one-day captaincy was thrusted on him. He became the youngest ever West Indies captain. He entered at a tumultuous time. Dwayne Bravo's West Indies had just pulled out of the ill-fated tour of India. I always said that before I was captain, as probably a boy, and in taking the captain and made me into a man. Since then, Holder has risen to the number one ranked test cricketer in the world. But he hasn't been able to pull the West Indies up the rankings with him. He does insist, though, his success has helped the regional side take small steps forward. Yes, the overall consistency is not there, um, but I think we are definitely headed in the right direction. In terms of my focus on me personally as a player, being captain for me, I think, drives me a little bit more because I'm that much more switched on all the time. But 2019 was the turning point in Holder's career. The new Cricket West Indies administration replaced him in the white ball teams with Kyron Pollard. Did it hurt you, Jason? Did it hurt you when you lost the white ball captaincy? Well, it, it strikes me as it hurt you a little bit. Yeah, it would definitely hurt, hurt anyone. I don't think um, there's a soul in this world who, who would be given or entrusted with a role such as leadership uh, of the Caribbean uh, cricket team. Uh, it being taken away from you and you not have a, have a, or you not feel disappointed. Holder leaves any questions about West Indies cricket administration wide of the off stump, but he does insist any progress off the field will require a team effort. It's not a one-man job. Uh, I don't think it's ever been a one-man job. It's a case where everybody who's a part of the organization has to pull their way. As Holder held West Indies cricket together, he watched as some of his colleagues went for more lucrative franchise deals. He feels once West Indies cricket is made attractive enough, local players will stay. You know, we've just got to find ways to make the entire system better. And I think once the system is, is one that we can rely on trust, then we'll have more and more players staying around and we'll have more access to, full access to all of our players. Now at 28 years old, Holder looks to consolidate his career. But perhaps his most important contribution to West Indies cricket may have been at the very start of it.